You want to write, but where do you get ideas? In this video, I'll show you how you can spark and develop your ideas for writing projects in a way that's stimulating and even fun for you. Most of our creative flow comes when we stimulate it. If you know some good ways to get your pen going on paper in some form of brainstorming or your fingers going on the keyboard, you don't have to have lots of ideas when you start. Ideas will come because you've started. The first key to opening up the creative process and making it your own writing process is finding and using one or two ways to brainstorm, ways that work for your brain. This is a lot like the visual artist who will sketch before she starts the painting. For a writer, the temptation is just to start writing and skip this stage because that seems easier. But it may not be. You may try to start writing and then get stuck, and then you get frustrated. Creative work is always a process. That's how our brains develop something new. If you take the writing process stage by stage and respect each stage of it from brainstorming through drafting and then revising, your work will be easier and it'll be better because you're doing it the natural way. The key is to learn to work with your brain at each stage of the process. And brainstorming is the really important first stage. If you brainstorm on paper or on screen and then print it out, then when you come to start the rough draft, and for most of us, that's the scary place. Now you're not alone. Now you've got something that you can work from. The key to making the brainstorming phase work for you is finding a way to do it that your brain likes. You don't have to do a tedious formal sort of outline unless you like doing an outline. Then it's not tedious at all. So this is the secret, I think, to this stage of the process, this first stage. Brainstorm in a way that your brain likes. Put that up here. However you do this phase, um, it's really important to welcome your questions. Questions are more powerful than answers. Write about them. Make notes about them. Your ideas will come out of your ability to be with your questions in an active way. That's what brainstorming can be, not forcing out an outline so much as opening up your flow. So, what are some ways to do that? Well, a linear way, an easy way, simple way is to do a list. And if you like order, if you like things nice and neat, your brain likes that, a list can be great. Um, some people like a nice neat list with bullets or numbers. Some people do a messy or more random list. Again, it's what you like, what works for you. Um, a kind of nonlinear way that also leads to an organized result is the web, where you put the main idea in the middle and then you branch out chapters, characters, groupings of your report, whatever it might be. Um, this is a way that your mind can pop all over the place, and yet at the end, you have a lot of stuff, and it's organized. It's a great thing to work from, the web. I personally like to do free writing, where I use an old-fashioned notebook, and I will fill two or three pages, trying not to stop, with, with just random writing, just trying to fill those, those pages. A lot of times in free writing, I will, I will write my questions. Or I may write about the characters at the start of a book. And who are these characters? What are they like? What, what's their situation? Um, I may not try to map out the whole story, but I do a bunch of pre-writing, usually in this form, to become familiar with my characters and the place where the story is going to start. So that's often what I do. To sum up then, um, you don't have to wait for ideas. Ideas will come when you stimulate them. Second, brainstorm on paper so that when you come to the drafting stage next, you've already got something. Third, brainstorm in a way that your brain likes, that you find easy and even fun. And fourth, welcome your questions. Exploring and working with your questions, being able to be with them, is the key to opening up your ideas and your flow. In the next video, I'll give you some practical, powerful advice for the, the next stage of the writing process, how to approach the rough draft. And remember, if you've got something to say or a story to tell, then you've got the right to write it. So please, give this a try.